Hello, everyone. I am getting ready to decorate my planner for the second week of November, so I thought I would bring you along. I am going to be stamping. So I know a lot of people ask how we use the Planners Anonymous stamps, and so I'm going to show you here. I'm going to be using um, a specific type of ink just to make sure that I don't have any ghosting or transfer onto the reverse side of my paper, of my planner paper. And I use a hammer mill, um, I can't remember, I think it's 32 pound, um, nice smooth paper. Um, nothing fancy, so to speak. So um, this ink test should work pretty well for anyone. So I am taking a stamp from the Butterfly Skies kit from Planners Anonymous. These, uh, this like leafy pattern, I thought it would be perfect for fall. So I'm taking it and I'm using Versa Magic chalk ink in gingerbread. So the chalk ink I really, really found works when you're stamping directly into a planner. So a couple of tips I have is. Um, I just make, made a minor mistake there when I stamped that last image. I pressed a little too hard, um, put too much pressure onto my stamping block when stamping that. And so the stamp ink kind of spread a little bit, made a little bit thicker towards the end of those um, leaves. So I recommend that you just use a really nice light pressure, both when you're applying the ink onto the stamp and when you're applying the stamp onto your paper. Just use a light hand, not too heavy. So the way I'm cleaning my stamp is I have a uh, bottle, um, a, a spritzer off to the side with water in it. And I just spray my stamp in my acrylic block and I smush it into that yellow microfiber cloth that I have to the side and it cleans really nice. So now I'm switching colors to red brick, also Versa Magic chalk ink. And I just thought the, this color combo would match really nicely with Woodland Wonders and Forest Falls, which are the sticker kits that I'm going to be using and the washing I'm going to be using as I'm decorating. So I'm just filling in some empty spaces, just creating this nice leafy border uh, on the edges of my planner pages. And then I'm making sure to clean up my make art mat that I'm using, that, that gridded mat that I'm using. I make sure to clean it off because I am stamping off the paper. So I make sure to clean it off so I don't make a big, huge mess. <laughs> but um, I did uh, stamp with a lighter hand the rest of the way. So everything turned out pretty good. I'm not too worried about that one that I was a little heavy handed with. It'll just blend right in once I'm done. No one will even notice. <laughs> so um, I have experimented with a lot of different inks. This chalk ink in my opinion, is definitely the way to go. I think I got it at Joann's or Amazon. I'm not too sure, but it's very affordable. Um, nothing fancy or expensive. I got a little bit of ink there on my planner paper, so I'm just taking a sand eraser and it comes right off. So if you have any blemishes on your planner pages as you're stamping, not to worry. Just use a sand eraser and it'll come up off your paper pretty neatly. Try not to let it set uh, sit there for a while and set. So take it off as soon as you notice that it's there. So I'm grabbing my Heat It tool by Ranger. So this is different than an embossing uh, heating tool. This is just a heat tool to set inks and things like that. It's used um, with ink blending and water and uh, multimedia, things like that. I'm, I'm taking my Make Art Magnet Ruler and I just put it in between both pages so the pages don't go flying. But I'm just setting that ink so that it will not smear or transfer anywhere it shouldn't. Now that I'm done stamping those edges, I'm gonna go ahead and heat scent them so they don't go anywhere. So that's very important because this chalk ink is a pigment ink and it, it will stay wet for a while. You can go ahead and just put it aside and let it dry for, for a bit, but it takes too long and I'm impatient and I wanna continue stamping. So I go ahead and I heat set it with my Ranger heat tool. So now, of course, I want to use um, the critters, but I'm going to add a little more um, twiggy floral, I guess. <laughs> and again, this is from the Woodland Wonders stamp kit from Planners Anonymous. So I'm just going to stamp a little bit of green in between the leafy borders. And I'm using Versa Magic chalk ink in Spanish olive for this part. 
again, trying to be very light handed and just putting a little bit of that in between just to add some green. Just a little bit in the empty spots. And I'm done with that. I'm going to go ahead and heat set again after I clean my stamp. <laughs> I really like the idea of using the ruler, the magnetic ruler to hold down my pages. It really helps. And just cleaning up my mat there so it doesn't get messy while using the heat tool. And everything stayed put. It was, it was really easy. Now you could go into these outlines and you could color them with a colored pencil or something like that. I don't recommend using Copic markers because it will definitely bleed through. But I'm just going to leave them like that. I've noticed that when I use Planners Anonymous stamps, I love to use colored ink. I very, very rarely will use black ink because the black ink, I just feel like it really needs to be colored if I use black. So I like to use colors um, like here I'm going to stamp this adorable, adorable squirrel. So I'm using a piece of scrap paper just to kind of mask off the bottom. And so there's that adorable scroll. I mean, so cute. So when I stamp him in like a rust color, then I don't feel like I need to color it. And it just makes my spreads, uh, I think, look neater. And it's just, it's a lot faster for me. I can get things done quicker. So then I'm going to stamp this cute owl. I'm going to use the same technique, just use a piece of scratch paper so that... Um, Oops, and I missed the top and I got lucky when I restamped. <laughs> Another thing that you can do if you really are picky about your stamping and you want it to be really, really neat um, is you can use a stamp positioning tool like a Misty. And that way you can repeat your stamping if you're missing any spots with your ink. But I just wanted to get this done. I need to decorate the whole month of November. So I just wanted to get it done. So I just went for it. And then, like I said, I got lucky with the owl when I restamped. So now with this fox, I'm like, okay, make sure you get it stamped everywhere. And look at how adorable that is. <laughs> so cute. So, so, so cute. And this really inspires me to use my stamps more often. So just giving you another look at the inks that I use, Gingerbread, Red Brick, brick and Spanish Olive, Versa Magic Chalk Ink. And so I'm going to heat set there. Make sure those little critters stay put and don't get smeared because I will cry because they came out so cute. So I just want to make sure that they stay put. So as I was saying, yeah, I'm, I'm really inspired to use my stamps more because in conjunction with the washi and the stickers, and you'll, you'll see that throughout as I'm decorating my spread, it's just such a nice medium to bring um, to decorating. It's just, it, it just looks so nice. And sometimes I forget to use them. I have them all and I love them all. I just need to bring them out and use them. So here's Forest Falls, and I'm just trying to figure out what stickers I'm going to use for the days of the week. Actually, and then I come across this beautiful tree, and I'm like, this must go in my main deco box. And you can see it's just, it's just perfect. <laughs> I love it. A great way to use that beautiful tree. So here you're going to see, you know, it coming together with the stickers, the colored stamps, and things like that. And I just, I really love it. Gotta, gotta, gotta do it more often. So I'm just going through my sticker book, seeing what inspires me, seeing what I want to use. Um, the reason why I am using this kit, and you'll see there, you can probably already notice, but I have doubles of all of those. So <laughs> until I have like two sets of a kit, that's when I, I decide to go ahead and use it because I love my Planners Anonymous sticker so much that I, I tend to get two or three sets so that I can feel comfortable using my stickers because I just want to use them over and over again. So anyway, here I went ahead and I decided to go with the 
weekly sticker kit. So not the kit stickers, but the weekly sticker kit that you can buy separately. I decided to go with those um, days of the week stickers. They're nice and colorful, beautiful, perfect for fall. So I'm just placing those up at the top where I have my week at a glance. So I don't put any plans in this section. It uh, The reason why I designed it this way is because I like to glance at my planner and if I need to know the date for the week that I'm in, then that's just a nice week at a glance where I can see the date. So I don't put any plans. I just decorate it with stickers or in this case with squirrels, owls, and foxes. <laughs> And then I'm trying to pick what I'm going to use for my Dutch door dailies. And I like to use a variety of colors up at the top at my week at a glance. And then I like to use a solid color on my Dutch door dailies. But I found a more beautiful, brighter red with Woodland Wonders. So I'm going to go ahead and put back that other red that I had in Forest Falls. And I'm going to use the Woodland Wonders Red just because it was richer and I just it just jumped out at me and I just fell in love with it. So we're going to go ahead and use that. And then I step away for a second to grab my washi <laughs> because um, I realized that I am going to um, use washi before I put down the days of the week on my Dutch doors. But prior to that, got to add my my days, my my dates here with the date dots that are also included in the weekly, vertical weekly sticker kit. I love those little numbers. All right, now it's time for some washi, I think. <laughs> Just making sure going through all my stickers, putting those aside, gonna bring down my Dutch doors. And then I was going to start putting Monday down and then realize that I needed washi. So this is where I step away and go get the washi really quick. And I grabbed the washi for Forest Falls and Woodland Wonders and the um, washi duo from Forest Falls that was available. I think they maybe even have had two washi duos for Forest Falls. I can't remember, but I definitely have all of the washi available, as you can see there. So um, just grabbed all of those and decided to put a skinny washi up at the top of my Dutch doors. And then that will be followed by the days of the week. That tool there that I'm using, it's an awesome tool by Creative Memories. That's what I put my stickers on, and then I place them onto my planner pages. And I just happened to grab a new one. So I have the packaging here in my trash can that I'm digging out for you so I can tell you what it's called. But um, it's a great tool. It's called a multi-purpose tool by Creative Memories. And one end kind of has like a a, a a pointer um, type thing to, to stick things down or to put things down. And then the other end that I use most often is like an additional fingertip. <laughs> it's almost like, it's like a fingernail. It's hard to explain, but um, I use it really, really, really often in my decorating, just like I also use that Cricut uh, vinyl tool. I use that to cut my washi. So just getting all my washi down. So that takes a little bit. And I've used this washi a lot. As you can see, my, my rolls of washi are dwindling down. I just, I love this fall kit. It's just so gorgeous. So I use it a lot. So my Dutch doors um, on the left, you can see I have area for journaling. And then on the right, that's usually where I put any appointments and things that I need to really remember. So the line part for journaling and then the solid um, 1.5 inch wide bar that you see there is for um, stickers and appointments and meetings and things that I need to remember. Almost done with the washi. 
I didn't use a whole lot of washi with this spread. I think I was just so excited about the stamping that I didn't need to use a lot of washi. Normally, I use more, more washi than this. Okay, so all my Dutch Door daily pages are done. Now it's time just to put the days of the week. Got washi rolling everywhere. And there's that Creative Memories multi-purpose tool that I was telling you about. So I use that kind of thumbnail side, and it's just really easy for me to position my stickers and place them down straight with that tool. I use it all the time. And it's great also when you need to pick up a sticker. If you've misplaced um, something, you need to replace the sticker, then I use that to get it up. So that works well too. All right, so we're all good with the days of the week on the Dutch doors. So I'm gonna go back to the stamp sets. This one's Woodland Wonders, and I'm gonna use that sign. It's a, um, a wood plank, like a sign that you would find in a national park or um, while you're camping. And I figured I could write, I could um, write some plans on there. So just cleaning my stamp, making sure it's nice and clean before I apply ink to it. And then I'll clean it up afterwards also. So just a little more stamping. And I'm using red brick ink there. Perfect. Heat set that so it doesn't go anywhere. Last thing you wanna do is do all this wonderful stamping and then have it smear. You don't want that. That is very discouraging. And I think that's um, what a lot of people may feel is like, you know, that stamping is too messy and too, like it just gets ruined easily. But if you, if you understand the inks that you're using and you understand which ones stay wetter longer and you use a heat tool or you place your pages aside so that they dry properly, you're not gonna have that problem and you're gonna end up with a very, very super cute spread. And then you're gonna get the full use out of your kit because your kit comes with this stamp set every month. And and again, like I was saying, I really need to use it more often because I really enjoyed it and I really loved the way it looks on my planner pages. So there's just a nice little slice of wood <laughs> for some deco. And you'll see that I'm like, um, when I stamp and heat set, you'll see that um, I kind of turn the paper because I'm I'm looking at the wet ink in the light and I can see the wet ink and then as I'm drying it that shininess goes away and that's when I know that it's dry. So you'll see me doing that too and that's um, a good tip for you guys too is you'll you'll see it's pretty wet if you use this chalk ink. And then as you dry it it becomes nice and dull and nice and matte. <laughs> so I'm putting the planner girl from Forest Falls in here. And I love it because it doesn't require any coloring. It just looks beautiful in these beautiful fall colors. And then I'm going to stamp this solid maple leaf. I was a little nervous, but I really wanted it on there. <laughs> so as I said, you know, I, I was supposed to put the ink with a light hand, and I did. And I also stamped with a light hand, um, but I didn't get um, full coverage. And I think it's just the nature of a, a solid stamp. Um, it would have been much better if I used my stamp positioning tool, because then I could have uh, stamped a couple of times in the exact same place. But uh, since I didn't, I went ahead and grabbed a very, very small paintbrush, and I'm putting the paintbrush into the stamp ink, and I'm just filling in those empty spaces, and it works out just fine. It doesn't need to be perfect because it is a stamped image, but I, I didn't want those big empty spaces, so definitely needed to do a little touch up there. But I have no regrets. I'm glad I stamped it there. I really did want it there. It just needed to be touched up. So no problem.
Perfect. And as you can see there, no ghosting and no show through on the other side of the paper. Isn't that fantastic? So if you're looking for a planner ink, Versamagic chalk ink is definitely the one. Tested and tried. <laughs> so now I'm going to use the Sweater Weather stamp also from Forest Falls. And I wanted to um, try it on scrap paper before I stamped it into my planner page because it was a font and I just wasn't sure how it was going to show up. So once it stamped great, then I went ahead and stamped it directly into my planner. Turned out great. So if you ever, ha ever have second thoughts about things or you're just not sure how you're going to like something, just have a piece of scratch paper on the side and stamp on the side. And then when it comes out fabulous, go ahead and put it into your planner. I know stamping is a little more permanent than stickers. <laughs> so I feel you when it when it when you get a little nervous with that. All right. So now it's time to add some stickers. And everything is just going to come together really well, I think. I I love the stamping. I mean, I just love it. So I'm putting down some functional boxes because I will need to write lots of plans down um every day of the the second week of November so I'm just getting that ready so got to have some some function to all this deco right in our planners and again I'm using the weekly sticker kit for all these functional boxes the vertical weekly sticker kit so that was purchased outside of the subscription box cuz we need everything when it comes to forest falls. <laughs> and I noticed too, I, I didn't date the Dutch door daily pages, um, but I will definitely go back and do that. I forgot. <laughs> More functional going in. A little bit of script. It's the weekend for Friday. And then Saturday, I use these super cute post-it notes for as functional boxes. I think those are going to be great for Saturday. And then on this particular Sunday, I have my Planners Anonymous fans Zoom. So I kind of need a lot of space because I have that. And then um, for the 14th of November, we also have a Planners Anonymous live on YouTube with Sammy and Michael. So I'll put a little YouTube icon there. All right, let's see how all this is going. And then in the last page of my planner, I don't know if you saw a little glimpse of it, but I just, I have four different lists. I'm a list girl, so I got four lists back there. I got to have the minis. And look at how cute they look in between those stamped critters. <laughs> Going to add minis everywhere. Can't be Planners Anonymous without minis, right? These little minis can't go anywhere. They, they are never to be taken from our planner kits because there will be a huge uproar. <laughs> so lots of minis. And I love the peeking minis as well. Super cute. So I'm really looking forward to the second week of November because I'm going to love looking at this spread. <laughs> so I encourage you, bring out your stamps. Don't resell your stamps. Keep them. <laughs> Keep them and use them in your planner. They can be really beautiful. And as you can see here, you know, it doesn't really take any additional time, you know, that 
you normally would spend putting down stickers or washi. I mean, it's just, it's part of the decoration process and it's just, it just looks really cute. I'm going to start doing it more myself. I think I need to put my stamps in a more prominent location. Oh, look at that squirrel. Got to have that squirrel. Got to um, put my stamps in a more prominent location where I use them more because I do love them. I do love them. There's the Planners Anonymous Live sticker that we used to have in the kits. Now we have a new one, which I'm really excited about. It was in the um, extra digitals that were provided for Masquerade. There's a Planners Anonymous Live in there. So now I'm just going to do a quick flip through so you can see the deco and the stickers, the stamps, the washi, and everything. And there you have it. There's my spread. So I hope you guys enjoy and we'll talk to you really soon. Bring out your stamps.